Hello students, today we are going to discuss the concept of sets. What is a set? How can you define a set? A set A set is a well defined collection of unique objects. Well defined collection of a unique objects. Set can be numbers, family members, items, manufacturing units, jewelry or anything else right anything can be a set set of animals set of birds anything can be a set but there are two things to be remember basically the first thing is first well defined this is a point to remember number two unique two things to be remember if there if there is a collection and if this collection has to be a set is, is this collection we call it a set then it must fulfill the two criteria number one it is well it should be well defined number two all the elements must be unique now if i write these number one two three four five basically these are the natural numbers less than equal to five so these are well defined we all know these are the natural numbers right and every number repeats only once every number is a unique so we can call them this is a net set of natural number less than equal to five Right now, I am representing it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what we have seen is this capital letter represents a set. So, a set is represented by a capital letter. Any capital letter, it could be X, Y, y Z. Yes. It should be capital X, Y, Z, A, D, whatever capital letter you can use. A set is represented by a capital letter. These objects are known as the members. These objects are known as the members, elements, or maybe objects. So, members of set are known as members only, elements, or objects members, elements are objects and they are represented by represented by small letter. They are represented by a small letter say X, Y, Z. So I said set must be well defined and it must have the unique elements, right? What does it mean? Now, if I say a set of a set of students 
in your college. Now this represents or this represents all the students who study in your college. <clears throat> so it's well defined. <clears throat> the person who is not studying in your college cannot be called as a student of your college. Well defined. Right? Prime Ministers of India. We can count them. We know who is the Prime Minister, who is not the Prime Minister. So again, well defined. Right. Prime Ministers of India. The reverse. flowing in India. Manufacturing unit units producing food items in India. These are all well defined. So these are all examples of sets. But if I care, now if I say best, the best hockey player in India, best movie intelligent student in your class now these are all ambiguous best hockey player a person may say that player a is the best but other person may not like May, may consider some other hockey player as the best player. Similarly, best movie. I may like a particular movie and I will call it the best. And you, you may not like that movie. So here the best intelligent, intelligent student, again, debatable. A person may call a student, a teacher may like a student and the student may be intelligent, may be good in one particular subject. He may not be good in another subject. Another student may be good in one object, one subject. So these are all debatable. These are ambiguous. You cannot decide. You cannot. There is always a debate around this. So I cannot say that these are the well defined. These these things are not well defined. 